Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here, and I'm taking a look at uh, Mies Mata. It's a game that was recently greenlit on Steam. I've had my eye on it for a couple of months. I don't know a whole lot about it, but what I can tell you is that uh, it was made by Iron Effects, a couple of brothers named Joe Johnson and Bob Johnson, as you can see at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, before we get into it, I'll show you the settings that are available. Uh, you can go, you can hit your general settings, which is your volume, your mouse speed, your controls, and your graphics. I have everything maxed out as high as I can go, and for an indie game, actually, there's quite a few options. Uh, not much else to say about that. From the Steam description, uh, we're playing as a scientist. A, it's described as a plague-ridden scientist named Robert Hughes, and I'm on a journey to find a cure. I'm sure that that will not be as easy as I wished it was. So, we are going to jump into a new game and see what it's like. That's interesting. A traitor and betrayed. <laughs> Discover the cure and survive. Okay. That's my main objective, I suppose. Okay, so I am now in control. Uh, my mouse needs to be inverted. That's the first thing. Oh, there we go. Inverted, normal. There we go. It's weird that it would default to that, but... I'm always amazed at these so-called indie games that just freaking look, like, fantastic. There's a couple of weird uh, graphical glitches happening, but it's nothing crazy. My character moves like he's got a lot of... It's hard to describe, but there's momentum. Like when I walk here and I stop, I still keep moving like... That's kind of cool. Press tab to open your journal. Your journal provides you with your health status, medicine inventory, and objectives. It also includes all of your all the notes you collect and research you perform on the island. Click on the tabs at the top of the journal to explore its various sections. Use A and D to navigate journal page by page. Right mouse button to zoom in. H to close this topic. Discover the plague cure. <laughs> that's yes, that's a good. It's a good objective. I have no notes. I have no research. I kind of like how this book is laid out and I can still look around. Like, that's, that's cool. There's kind of some... There's some birds flying around. I gotta say, this looks pretty awesome. And if you're wondering where that breathing's coming from, uh, it's not me. It is my in-game character. <laughs> Imagine being in this situation. This has a lot of potential to be a pretty cool story, actually. For, for some reason, it reminds me of Lost, the TV show. Just how it's, you know, there's... You're not really sure what's going on in this island, and... Okay. There's a note on the table in the shed. Take it with left mouse button. Okay. A bloody memo about the cure. Whoa. From Professor Daglas to Dr. Sanchez, Plague Cure. Dear Harlow, my tests have been successful. We have a cure. Begin immediate synthesis of trichordrazine by combining the following agents. Primary antibiotic, antitoxin, adjuvant. A single injection will safely eliminate all traces of plague growth within 4 to 12 hours. Well, that seems easy. 
We need a primary antibiotic, an antitoxin, and a juvent, and then boom, cure. <laughs> if only. If only. Is this blood on the ground over here? Look at the way I swing my arms. It's weird. This, I like that they've got the momentum built in. It's just strange because it's something I've never experienced before. This is not good. That's probably a bad sign. Can I investigate this? Oh, I don't know what I did there. I'm looking at the time. Right mouse button, I can look at the time and the compass. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. Let's take the knife out of his back. Oh, what? Don't throw it. Is there anything else that I can explore in this guy? <laughs> and that's... I did not mean for that to sound like it did. Okay, we've got our knife. If I... Oh, well, there we go. I didn't throw it this time. I've got some defense now. Okay. I, I don't know if I should be staying on the path or if I should be exploring. But it looks like I can pretty much just go wherever I would like. For now, we're going to stay on the path. Okay, there's a ton of stuff going on here. Looks like we've uncovered like a makeshift lab or something. Storage... Specimen storage bin. Examination tray. Uh, let's take these. This is a research station. Press H to learn more. They allow you to discover any important medicinal characteristic of a specimen you may have. Okay. So we're going to find these throughout? Or what? To use a research station, place your specimen on the tray using left mouse button. If you have more than one item in your hand, you may need to press it multiple times to cycle to your desired specimen. Look at the microscope and press left mouse button for a second time. The research will be performed and results documented in your journal. Okay. Thing is, I can't seem to drop this knife. <laughs> so, that's kind of a bitch. Let's check the controls again. See if there's any way to drop stuff. Not really. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, if I hold it, it looks like that threw it, so... It's still not letting me... Instruction for research and plants. Oh, so I gotta put something in there first. So the, the island of... Okay, cool. Full of unique plants and fungal species. Many of these have curative properties. Place a single plant or fungus on the blue examination tray. Initiate research on the specimen by using the microscope. Okay. So I guess we should go outside and grab a plant. You were being watched. Oh, good. That's, uh... That's helpful. I wonder if these numbers mean anything. Science people, do you know what this means? This is a synthesis station. Create medicines and tonics from specimens you discover. Place a specimen on the tray, then look at the distillation rig. Okay. That we can do. Is this the same C5H6? We got all sorts of stuff here. Alright, well, let's go see if I can grab some type of plants. These flowers, maybe? Take plants and fungi. Yep. 
I discovered a white pink viola. Typical example in the viola genus, this flower is white and pink. <laughs> Thanks. Fungi. Let's see if we can't find anything. These just look like rocks. Let's go throw this thing back on there and do some examining. Right, give it a shot. Okay, I used liquid liquid extraction to isolate the essential oils from the petals of the flower. My test indicates these oils may have a mild medicinal value. My conclusion, I should be able to synthesize this flower into a basic medicine. Okay. So now if I take these, go over to synthesize tray, and then start synthesizing. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of exploration involved, a lot of experimenting. I could be wrong, but that's the impression that I'm getting. Okay, I've got basic medicine, aka aspirin. <laughs> Reduces fever for a short duration. Alright, let's take them. Cool. We've successfully completed our first recipe. I don't know if I should be taking that knife with me, but... What is it? Can I take this little... No, I guess not. And throw rocks. So to, hold, to let go of something, you just hold left mouse button, and it'll throw it. Once you release. You are thirsty. Press H to learn more. <laughs> Freshwater lakes, ponds, and puddles, as well as peachers. Found us. I don't know if that's supposed to be pitchers or not, but it could be. You may also carry water with you in a canteen. Canteen is accessible from within your journal. If you open your journal, press tab. If your canteen is filled with water, you'll find it hanging on a strap beneath your journal. Okay. Let's get my canteen. Okay. Let's see then if I can just... Is this not fresh water? This will also fill up your canteen for future use. You'll notice that the sea around the island is salt water, which you cannot drink. Yeah, fair enough. So let's, let's keep going here. I don't know when the canteen will be full. We can check. Ah, there we go. Five. Let's see how much... Okay, so we're maxed out at five. Oops. Okay, here we go. Now, so far, there's not any music in the game, aside from in the menus. So that's interesting. It's very, uh, nature-based. <laughs> Which I don't really have a problem with. It's kind of relaxing, actually. It's a nice change of pace. Look at all these little animals and stuff. A little uh, dwarf rabbit here. Come here, buddy. Come here. No, I guess not. Save your game by lighting candles, lanterns, campfires, or urns. Oh, cool. I guess we're saving. Now, what is this? We've got a map of Outpost Draco. Laboratory. Statue. <laughs> okay. So, it looks like we're trying to get to a statue, which is going to be past the next body of water, perhaps. So yeah, these must be the... Maybe maybe there's another pronunciation there, but to me these are called pitchers, and it's spelled P-I-T-C-H-E-R-S. But uh, I could be wrong. Do I sleep and stuff? 
Do I really want to just sleep in here? Apples, bananas. I'm just grabbing them? What do I do with them? Let's see what happens if we snooze. Apparently that saves your game as well. And now I'm carrying an apple with me. Can I feed it to the rabbits? I must do something with the rabbits. <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking out loud here because uh, this is my first time experiencing this. And I imagine a lot of you are think. If you're watching this, you're probably thinking about buying this game. And so far, it's actually pretty interesting. I had to use a cartography table. Interesting. Find instructions for triangulating your location and constructing a map of the island. What? That's cool. Okay. Take out your map and compass. Okay, we got that map. Okay, observe your surroundings. Look for man-made landmarks such as statues, buildings, ruins, etc. Statue, tent, cabin, yeah, sure. You are here. If such a landmark is also represented by an icon on your map, it is considered known. In the diagram above, landmarks A and C are known, whereas landmark B is not. The tent, okay. Draw sight lines to known landmarks by pressing activate while observing each one. The, intersecting, the intersection of these two sight lines represents your precise location. Okay, then. Let's give it a shot. There's a statue up there. With your map and compass in hand, you can determine your location with triangulation. To do this, click on two known landmarks. Okay. So there's the statue. Boom. Oh, interesting. And is this a cabin? I don't know. That seems to be the only thing that I can tr triangulate on right now. Let's check this map again here. Laboratory. Yeah, see, that's way... Ooh, I keep hitting escape for some reason. That's way back there. But that's okay. We know where we are anyways because we're at the statue, so... No, no worries. Now, can I go in this water? Or is this just asking for trouble? Oh, I'm getting dizzy or something. I'm drowning! You've developed a fever and should use medicine or find a bed soon. You can create medicine by bringing certain... Yeah, okay, we know that. Fever will develop more rapidly if you dehydrate it or if you sustain physical damage from falls or attacks. Interesting. There's no health bars to speak of. But, uh, basic medicine, let's take it. But I guess you can just tell based on, wait a second. We've got another statue. I don't know what that statue is. This is pretty cool, actually. I'm liking this whole uh, cartography thing, and I can see this getting pretty intense, actually. Now, I don't know if there's any day-night transitions or what, or also, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the statue, I guess, for now. That's the only landmark that I know, and they were like, oh, we saw that thing, like, go to the statue. Which is where I am. Okay, we've got another hut here. Let's check it out. Preferably without going into the water, because I apparently suck at swimming. I'm a scientist. I am not an athlete. You see, we've got statues all over the place here. More bananas. Let's drink some water. 
Yes, it's always good to stay hydrated. Photos. A pair of island photographs. Caption on the back of the photo reads, Pendergraph directing the construction of Outpost Sirius. Professor Daglas instructing Dr. Sanchez. And we saw Dr. Sanchez's name on... Yes. So from Daglas to Sanchez. That's interesting. So we don't know who Pendergraft is. But Daglas here is instructing Sanchez. So that's cool. Cool little tie-in already. Ah, more map. Now, what is this little circled thing? I'm not sure. Let's save our game. Let's see if we can intersect based on this. No, not yet, because we don't know quite what it is. That must be the camp. And we know this. So as long as we know two points, and as we're exploring, I, I guess we can continue to develop more of the map. Uh, which is interesting. That's a That's something I've never seen before. I like that. Now, I do want to see where that that red circle is exactly. So that's kind of right on the edge there, which I assume is this D1 where we right where we are. So let's take that thing and let's take that. Yeah, so it's just going to do it little by little if you continue to do it that way. I'm just kind of experimenting with it. This has a ton of potential, I think. Let's keep pressing on. I see lots of camps around here. By lots, I mean that one. <laughs> Looks like we're going to take the long route. You can... It does a great job of making you feel the weight of your character. Like, it's, it's really hard to, to explain, but... There's momentum. The, the first thing I can describe is the momentum. When you're, when I let go of the movement, your character continues to move a little bit. And that's really interesting. Um, the other thing is crawling up the hills, you're sluggish. Like, it's difficult. It's not just... You're not bolting all over the place as my guy starts running. I guess it's probably because I'm going downhill. <laughs> you can hold shift to run, but... Uh, it's not a noticeable difference until you're running downhill. Let's get some water. I should be stopping uh, for any plants and stuff as well, so uh, let, we'll keep our eye out for that. Oh, I'm sliding. Damn it. I do anything? Can I light a fire? Oh, I wonder. Can I light a fire? Not just with my bare hands, apparently. Okay, we've got an examination tray. We can store some stuff there. What do I? What can I do with this knife? Like, what's the point exactly? And the apples? I'm not really understanding that. But I'm sure, in due time, we'll find out. Ok, 
Okay, so we have another little research post here. <laughs> Let's see if we can't uh, triangulate again because... Oh, it's getting dark here. Shit, that's kind of freaky. I don't have anything else to triangulate on except for that thing. Okay, enough of that. Don't you dare drown! Oh, okay, we've got some fungi here, a.k.a. some sh shrooms. Are these things... are these things I can take as well? No, those are just... okay. Alright. Red poisonous mushroom. Psychedelic mushrooms, characterized... okay, yeah. It's the Mario shrooms. Let me run this back and analyze it. Actually, up here is kind of going to give us a cool view of our surroundings. This would be a good place to uh, triangulate. Oh, I fell. That's too bad. Oh, whoa! Wow, okay. You fall, you fall hard. Did I drop my mushrooms? <laughs> I did. Now I'm lost again. Swamp trail. Here we go. Uh-oh. I better have some water. Anytime I go a little bit fuzzy or get a little bit slow, I guess you should pipe back some water. Let's examine the shrooms. I can't see these providing a lot of health benefits. Okay, so what does this tell us? Mental clarity tonic. Oh, positive effects on overall brain functionality. Mild and generally unharmful psychotropic effects can be synthesized into a mental clarity tonic. Okay. Oh, and all of a sudden I got a lighter? Oh, shit. Like... Is that something I want to be doing? Maybe I should just take a nap. I'm kind of nervous. Like, I feel something's going to jump out at me and attack me or something. Is it morning? I don't know. I'm so disoriented. Now you could totally get lost, too. Kind of like I am. Okay, so this was the front of it, so we're gonna go this way. Oh, I fell again! You have to be really careful! That's interesting, okay. Now, I hope I'm not, but I could be way off the path of where I'm supposed to be. But it doesn't really give you a lot of direction. 
So that's kind of cool as well. That's like... It's just go out and find stuff that you need to find. Hopefully you find it before you die. Alright. Let's continue through here. We'll try to stay to the main path as much as we can. There's another tent over this way. The lighting's really cool. I gotta say, it's, uh... Yeah, this is pretty, pretty bizarre. Oh, we got music happening. That's new. Let's light this sucker. Apparently I can light things with my fists. Journal entry from Herbert number two. I sabotaged Sanchez's work this morning in addition of ibotonic acid to distort the results of his experiment. I did not want to do this, but my actions were willed from an unseen force, directed from my omnipotent master. Although I felt deep shame in the commitment of this act, feeling was replaced by passionate elation. It was a primal reward, it seems, for serving my lord. Holy... Okay. Things are not as they seem around here. I can tell you that much. And, uh... I, for one, am pretty interested to see what those things are like. <laughs> so, I'll most likely be continuing to play this game. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, let me know if you guys are playing this. If you took a different path, or... Uh, if if you're just exploring or if you have direction, I'm really curious to see uh, Each person's approach to this because as far as I'm concerned right now This is an open book. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen Thanks guys if you liked the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more and uh, we will talk to you very soon Thanks for watching